In today's lesson, you will learn the meaning of the phrasal verb, blow away. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, you will learn all the possible definitions of the phrasal verb, blow away. The phrasal verb, blow away, has four different possible meanings. The first is when the wind moves something from you until it is too far away to see or touch. Some sample sentences are, It's very windy today. Hold on to your papers or they will blow away. She had some important information written on a piece of paper, but it blew away in the storm. It can also be separable and used like this. He left his hat outside, but the wind blew it away. The second meaning is to kill somebody by shooting them, as in, she's going to blow him away. This was said by the young John Connor in Terminator 2 Judgment Day after his mom left to try to kill the guy she thought was responsible for creating Skynet. Or another sample sentence is, the man grabbed the gun and blew the escaped prisoner away. The third meaning is to impress someone or to make them very excited about something and it is only used as a separable phrasal verb. Some sample sentences are, every time I see another rocket launch, it just blows me away. And the results are blowing me away. The last possible meaning is to defeat someone completely or easily in some type of um, competition or argument. His companies are blowing the competition away. Or her team blew the other teams in the tournament away. All right, it's time for a short quiz. And this one is going to be multiple choice. And I think it's going to be pretty easy, but it's good practice anyway. Number one, the gunman blew away the police officer. This means either A, the police officer was really impressed by the gunman or B, the gunman shot the police officer, or C, the gunman was much better than the police officer. Number two, the performance of his electric cars blows all other cars away. This means A, the other cars are impressed, B, the other cars were moved away by the wind, or C, the electric cars are much better. Number three, every time I listen to him talk, he just blows me away. This means A, he speaks much better than me. B, when he talks, I am very impressed and excited. Or C, he shoots me. Number four, I need to buy a paperweight so my stuff doesn't blow away. This means A, my stuff will lose in a competition. B, a paperweight will impress people. Or C, I'm concerned that I will lose my stuff because of the wind. That's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet so that you will know when I have new lessons ready. And also sign up to get emails so that you can get more English help from me. And if you have time, watch more of my English lessons here on YouTube. Goodbye. And remember, with hope, anything is possible. The first is when the moon, the phrasal verb float, let's get started. Wait, that's not even the right spot. Okay, start all over. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here, wait, that's not even how, it's not the first part, I gotta redo all of it.